type. Saving energy is a key part of any business's efficiency drive. I met up with Rob Murray Leach from the Energy Efficiency Council to get their input on the best ways to choose an energy consultant. I started by asking him whether there was much difference in the quality of energy audits that can be carried out. Uh, unfortunately, there's a huge difference in the quality of audits. I've seen a lot of audits that are really just not worth the paper they're written on, dot points of recommendations without any costings that have not identified the major energy savings on that site. On the other hand, you can have an incredibly comprehensive audit that um, delivers you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of savings. So, yeah, huge difference in quality. Now, from a quality control point of view, is there a standard for energy audits? Well, luckily there is. Uh, a couple of years ago, um, we participated with, uh, with the governments and a range of key parties to develop a standard for audits. There's actually three parts. There's one for commercial buildings, one for industrial sites, and one for transport. The key component of those audits, they actually set out the technical requirements that you need to do to deliver a quality audit. So if you follow the audit standard, you should get a quality audit. For people watching now who haven't done an energy audit before, how do they go about finding a good energy auditor? The first place to look is on a number of websites that have got information. Um, we have a website, the Energy Efficiency Council, you can go to that. There's also the Energy Efficiency Exchange run by the federal government. And there's also uh, South, uh, there's, um, websites in South Australia, Victoria and New South Wales. What kind of experience should an energy auditor have? The most important thing for an energy auditor is to be able to actually deliver energy savings. So people who can tell you what's wrong with your site but have no idea actually how to deliver those savings, how to install that equipment, they basically have no knowledge and they are not of any use to you. So we strongly recommend that people uh, engage energy auditors who have experience. For commercial building upgrades there is the Energy Efficiency Certification Scheme and that tells if people have the comprehensive end-to-end -end knowledge to deliver an energy efficiency upgrade. And what experience should an energy auditor have when it comes to actually giving recommendations? The most important experience is, is that they've done it themselves before. So they've been involved in an upgrade to a building before, they've installed equipment, they've seen the results, they've corrected mistakes, and then they're going to do it again to you. So the first thing I'd say is, have they done a site similar to yours before? that will give you the advice about whether they're going to give you useful information. How do people actually get started with an energy auditor? You know, what should they ask them to do? You know, what's a reasonable price? First thing is to um, talk to them about what you need, what are your businesses, what's your process. Second thing we always recommend is, is really go for a level two energy audit. That's called a detailed energy audit. And that will give you business grade investment information. So information that you need to know, if I invest this, I'll get this result. One of our members recently did an audit for a commercial laundry. The audit cost $20,000. That upgrade will now be delivering uh, about $500,000 worth of savings over the next five years. When it comes to getting money-saving recommendations, what should people expect to get at the end of an energy audit? They should expect to get a detailed set of recommendations that tells them how much energy is your site using at the moment, where's the energy use going, where's it wasted, and then some detailed recommendations. The one thing I would say is don't look for just the obvious things. It's not just lighting. The most important thing is integration across all your energy using systems, and particularly a focus on those parts of your site that use the most energy. Smart Money's case studies have been developed with assistance from the New South Wales Office of Environment and Heritage and Sustainability Victoria.